Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Migrant Street War Memorial like it's their personal pool. Watch what happens when told to leave. In the United States, we take patriotism very seriously. The men and women who fought and died for our freedoms are never forgotten. We put up memorials, statues, build parks, and fly the American flag high at every location. If we had it our way, the only colors we would ever use are the red, the white, and the blue. There is a sense of values when talking to Americans all across this land. No matter what race, gender, sexual orientation, or political affiliation, one thing that we all have in common is we love our country and pay our respects to the fallen heroes. Apparently, that doesn't happen in the Mexico and South America. Just as Memorial Day is not about picnics and barbecues, water fountain tributes to American military veterans are not to be used as swimming pools. As temperatures climb and give rise to a search for ways to cool off, one method is definitely off limits as seen in a video taken at the National World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. A Twitter user posted this. Third world immigrants swim and wash their sweaty feet in a World War II memorial. Many say that anyone should be allowed to come here. But ask yourself this. Would someone of Euro descent do this? The answer is no. Why is the term diversity only used for white countries? Although it is not clear when the video was taken, viewers can hear the question being asked of the alleged migrants wading and swimming in the waters. You know this is a memorial for the soldiers, right? They are asked, but don't appear to get it. Dozens of adults and children are seen in the video as they use the memorial as a personal escape from the heat, ignoring the sign that bans the exact activity. You would think the adults would have a little more common sense, but apparently not. They allowed their children to disrespect these monuments. The parents should be held accountable. In another video posted in May 2017, disrespectful visitors to the memorial fountain are informed of their misstep. Many social media users were equally as appalled and, though there was the occasional voice which defended the people's right to get wet in a veteran's water memorial, others roundly condemned the move as disrespectful. BizPack Review, just look at all the people. You can bet all the white people with their feet in the water are Democrats. There is no doubt about it. No Republican would ever put their nasty feet in a war memorial. This is by far one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. The cartels and government corruption make it hard for these people to be proud of anything. That's why they flee their countries and illegally come to ours. This is no excuse though to disrespect our nation's heroes. We put up these monuments to celebrate their sacrifices, not just to look pretty. If you don't like our Americans' ways then please feel free to flee to some other country. These immigrants don't have the first clue as to what respect is. It's disgusting. The water that serves as the centerpiece of the World War II memorial on the National Mall can be an inviting sight for those looking to beat the heat on these 100-degree days. But a word of advice, feel free to sit on the edge and get your feet and ankles wet, but don't wade in the water. National Park Service spokesman Bill Lyons said it is illegal to walk or wade in the water or to splash others in the rainbow pool. It is also considered to be highly disrespectful to World War II veterans, sadly most of whom are no longer with us, Lyons said. There should be a high level of respect and decorum displayed at all times at the memorial. What is the consequence if you get caught? A park ranger will likely ask you to stop. But if you continue to show a lack of respect and class, U.S. Park Police may get involved. Each situation is unique, but depending on how the person conducts themselves, officers have discretion and can make an arrest, Line said. And don't even think about taking the pooch for a dip in the pool, either. No pets are allowed at the World War II Memorial, period. Scorching temperatures sweep the Northeast. The World War II Memorial is not and never has been designed to be a swimming pool, Line said. It is to commemorate and honor the supreme sacrifice that 16 million people made during World War II. The rules are similar at the other monuments on the mall that include water. While the water at the World War II Memorial is filtered, the same can't be said for the tidal basin or reflecting pool, which is actually water from the Potomac River. NBC Washington That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.